YouTube and welcome back to Completionist. Dun dun dun. Um, I forgot where I left off. I forget what I was doing, so I'm just gonna try to figure it out again. Uh, see, how am I doing on food? Some more food might be helpful. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I could have sworn I saw a pig out of the corner of my eye. Where was that thingy? The pig hunt is afoot. That's the word. I was trying to think of the word, and I was like, oh, that's awkward. I had the word before, and then I started talking, and it vanished. Thanks. This might be useful to... Oop, my skeleton. Yeah, I don't think you want to... Ah. Oh, you messed with the wrong person. There we go. <laughs> uh, how many arrows? We have six arrows. Right, I am totally disoriented as to where we are on this. I, I don't know why. Something between me, uh... I uh, haven't done completionist for like almost a week, <laughs> like four or five days, and in fact I've been playing a lot of other Minecraft and all kinds of other things, I tend to forget what I've been doing in one world or another, or one server or another, or one part of a server or another part or whatever, so it gets really confusing. So sorry if I'm totally spaced out with what I'm actually, if I said I was going to do something last time and I'm not doing it right now, that's, that's probably why. Oh yeah, what, that skeletons to attack each other, I love it when they do that. And now we just have... There we go! Dead! You are dead, sir. Um, God, I copy Kirche Mac too much. Gotta stop doing that. So anyway, welcome back to Completionist. We have... Oh, for a second I thought that was a brown slime, and I'm like, what? Just saw the head bobbing above, and yeah. Playing too much Flatlands. Um, oh, well. Yeah, welcome back to Completionist. Uh, we are... I'd like to say, uh... We all are on our way to our first goal, which is to make a full block of TNT, and to ignite it, and to blow something up while doing so. Any kind of mob, any hostile, friendly, any kind of mob, we have to corral or somehow get some mob with a lit piece of TNT and blow them up. So that sounds fun, right? And ow, scumbag skeleton shooting you when you're looking at your inventory. Um, ah, you shot a tree. Dang it, you didn't shoot a tree that time. The mob AIs are smart. Alright, do we have any gunpowder? No, we don't. Do we have any sand? No, we don't. So why don't I think we were close to that goal? Huh. Alright, well, whatever. That's my first goal, so I'm gonna go creeper hunting. I used to be able to only do creeper hunting with a bow, and now I can, like, do it with swords. I've mastered the practice. Dun, dun, dun. Or maybe it's just gotten easier since Minecraft versions I used to play on. I don't know. But at any rate, I'm killing all these chickens, one for food, and two because, ooh, octopi, uh, an ink sack would be very useful for some black wool we're going to need at some point. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Saw. I can't believe I don't see any, oh, just I'm about to say there's no creepers, one pierce. Perfect. Ow. Well, that was sad. <laughs> the one time where you don't want a creeper to disappear or to blow himself up relatively safely, they do. Scumbag creepers, they know what you're thinking. You know, they say that mob AI is smart because, you know, it has good pathfinding and whatnot. No. They built it so it can read your mind. It uses the Bluetooth port in your computer, it reads your mind, and it figures out exactly what you're thinking, what you're going to do, and then finds a way to counter that using very basic AI techniques. If you already know what, where something... Oh, crap! That scared me. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> The fact that this is hardcore doesn't help to relieve fear when you hear a creeper ticking and you, you, you're not aware of it. And you aren't prepared for it and you don't remember whether you had armor on or not. Oh, wow. That was scary. Alright. <laughs> Calm down, take a deep breath, and kill a creeper. Just as, I was saying something about being good at killing creepers by hand, and apparently that's not true. Let's try to change that. One more hit. And you are dead, sir. I really gotta stop doing that. Alright, so, what can I get rid of? I don't need a spider eye right now. I will at some point later on, but I'll worry about that later on, because that's kind of far away off, I think. Um, we're also going to make this relatively nomadic. We're, we're not going to do all the, all the things in the same place. We're just going to kind of move around, build the farm here, then leave it behind after we get a good supply of food going, that kind of stuff. So, don't count on a big, giant metropolis made of all our various... Um, not shortcomings, long comings, but I don't know if that's a word. And that doesn't really sound like 
right. But anyway, all of our long comings all in one place. So, we do have a, um, a very important announcement. I'm not going to announce it right now. Uh, I'm going to save it for when I'm also chatting with James. But uh, keep your eyes peeled for another video that has an announcement for something we're planning with the community. It's, it's very small, but it's cool. I think it'll be fun. So anyway, uh, we'll probably reveal that either in the next video upload or maybe two from now. We'll see, but, um, like, after this one, after you're watching this one, like, a couple, one or two episodes from now, probably we'll announce it, and uh, we'll release more of the details later on as we get closer, still not sure with the timetable and whatnot. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Actually, it is here, and it is there, at, but it's not here nor there for commentary purposes. We're not going to announce that, but be aware, it's going to be fun, I think. Um... And of course, it's going to involve gaming, so join us whenever we do it. Anyhow, um, we have um, had, James and I had, uh, we were kind of testing out some live stream software and stuff, and kind of seeing, um, you know, what's going to work, what's not, and we're hoping that pretty soon James can start uh, doing his own recording, his own single player series. Uh, as well, we're also hoping that I can, um, uh, that we can do live streams together and we can have, like, not the two screens probably merge on one live stream, just because while well, that would be really cool to do, it just kind of looks weird and gets all distorted, and I don't know, I don't like looking at it that way. But we'll like live stream together. Maybe we'll do it on two separate channels, like you know, Omicron Workshop, Omicron Shredder Jam, or whatever. And so you'll be able to watch whatever, whichever one you want. And they'll both have our voice in them, but um, like the, the both both videos will have both of our audio tracks, but they just won't have. We only have one person's video, so one person's perspective. So it kind of depends on what we're doing, but that's how we might do it. I don't know. We're still really, it's its up in the air really right now. We have two gunpowder. That's not nearly enough. But there is a creeper up here. I saw a creeper. And a skeleton. I didn't see the skeleton, but it's up here. Um, oh, two creepers. Perfect. Ah, die. Die, die. Die, die. Ah, oh, alright. Just come over here, let them follow us. Oh, nice mob AI is spinning. I like the spinning. I think the I think the creeper breakdancing is a really nice effect they added. It really adds some realism, you know, to the whole Minecraft experience. Really adds some adds some funk, you know, kind of adds that oomph with the breakdancing creepers. Although I think that's probably a bug. So don't count on break breakdancing creepers in the final version. If you want to see breakdancing creepers, act now, pick up your phone. Your your phone so that you can use your dial-up modem and go to Minecraft Wiki, look up the pre-release page, and oop, there's another creeper. This hopefully will give us the two gunpowder we need. We'll see. Pick up your phone, order today, and watch the breakdancing... Dang it! Watch the breakdancing creeper special. Or experience it in 3D vision! Da -da 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 -da. For any of you who have 3D analograph glasses, wait, let me grab mine. Ah, yes, 3D experience. Experience the... Taste the rainbow in two colors, blue and red. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, I'm going to take off 3D Animal Graph. Because uh, most of you probably either A, don't have 3D Animal Graph glasses, because, you know, you threw them out, thought that fad was over, which it is. Um, or, you know, you don't want to go get them, obviously. Or, you know, and even when you do have them, it kind of gives some people a headache and whatnot. So I'm going to take it off that, but... Know that that is available in Minecraft, one of the only games I've found so far that supports a 3D analog graph view without any kind of modding or uh, driver changes. That like I, I saw one driver somewhere for I think it was an Nvidia cards um, that did something with at, at the uh, hardware level or at, at the f mm, on the card on the card BIOS I think or the card firmware anyway. It uh, basically took. The uh, NVIDIA 3D, yeah, it had to be NVIDIA because it was using NVIDIA 3D. The NVIDIA 3D game projection and turn it into uh, red and blue or green and cyan, I think it is, glasses. Um, but it was like cost money and for some reason they, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I decided not to go with that. For a second, I thought I saw a name and I was like, what? But it was just cows. Um, so I'd be like, what are you doing in my single player world? Get out! Out! <laughs> that would be actually really creepy. Just like James right there. Hey, Maxwell, what's up? Oh my God! You know <laughs> that would be really scary. Hi, Wolf. Um, 
I think a wolf would be useful. Uh, Wolfie! Oh god, I'm going to start calling him Wolfie. This is not going to end well. If I get two, it'll probably stop me from calling him Wolf. Oh, but I want only one companion. Alright. Well, let the Wolfie jokes ensue. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. Is he following me? I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. Good dog. Alright. My dog's probably going to come running into my room. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What's going on? Um... <laughs> I've been replaced by a virtual pet. Alright, I see some iron. Do I need iron? No, I'm gonna mine it anyway. Because, oh, poor doggy. Ah, uh, there you go. Because like I mentioned, I probably shouldn't right-click with this port. That's probably not a good idea. Like I mentioned, um, I have this weird inclination to mine iron, no matter how much iron I have, it seems. I mean, I could have a chest full of iron ore, and I'd see iron, and I'd still be like, oh my god, I need that. So we're going to go on a little bit more creeper hunting, because uh, I really do want to light off that block of TNT this episode, get started on that checklist, get going on the never-ending list of things to do in completionist. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to say dun, dun, dun every time after I say completionist for as long as I can remember. Dun, dun, dun. So um, basically, uh, like, like I said, the first thing on our list right now, and I might have proposed something else last episode, and I totally spaced it, and sorry, um, but too bad, <laughs> too late. Too late, so sad. But um, I am going to. My first objective is to build a block of TNT and kill a mob with it, uh, hostile or friendly. Uh, by the way, fun Minecraft trivia for you. Um, a lot of people thought mobs meant like um, you know, like mob. I, I don't know. I don't know what, but you know, like a hostile kind of mob mafia type thing. But you know, kind of some kind of loose correlation to something that comes after you in groups, I guess. Um, but actually, from what I've heard, a mob, the, uh, mob is actually a shortened lingo for mobile or moving. So, I don't know, fun Minecraft trivia for you, whether it's right or wrong. Uh, <laughs> it makes sense, though, I'm not going to deny that. Mobs, you know. Oh, don't get in my way while I'm mining, I'll hit you with a pickaxe. Blarg. I'm a mean pirate. Um, so yeah, but that's pretty cool if that is where the name originally came from, and it seems like, kind of likely. Ooh, I'm getting low on hunger. I'm starving to death. Where is my chicken? Am I blind? Where is it? I had cooked chicken. I know I did. Where is it? Am I missing it? Did I drop it somewhere? Well, if I dropped it, it's too late to go back and get it. Did I feel it to Wolfie? I know I gave him one, but... Huh. Weird. Alright, well, that's, that's okay. I'll just smell more. No biggie, no biggie. Might as well also convert this to, there we go, plank, save some space there, and build our little furnace. And we're going to keep playing until we get either a block of TNT or we hit the 30 minute mark. But if we get a block of TNT too soon, I'll keep going. Wait, what am I doing? Food, I'm hungry, not, not eating iron, that would not be tasty. And, you know, Minecraft characters, there's no dental offices, no dentists, no dental surgeons or anything, so crack a tooth on a bar of iron eating it, well, too bad for you, you have a cracked tooth until you die in Minecraft. So, you know, that's, you don't want to be eating iron. So for any of you people who have ever tried eating iron when you're starving to death in Minecraft, yet, yeah, you probably noticed it doesn't work. Yeah. Alright, we'll just leave this here at this crafting table. We probably had a crafting table already with us. No, we didn't. Alright, whatever. Forward ever, backward never, except when we need to retrace our steps for something. Let's go! And da 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 da. I wish I could find. I wish it'd be night. The one one of the few times I ever wish it'd be night. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm killing so many chickens, it's for the feathers, so I can make a bunch of arrows. Once I get to 32, I'll probably stop. Well, maybe 64. But yeah, I, I like bow and arrow. I've improved my accuracy. I'm still not great at all, but I used to be really bad. I don't know if I ever did a video when I used to be really bad at archery, and I've I've improved it. Um, if you ever want to improve your archery skill. Go on to our Minecraft server, server.com, go to the Blood Pit, and get the enchanted bow that they sell on the wall for $5,000, I think it is right now. 5000 in-game dollars, obviously, not US dollars, or else we'd be making not a mint, because no one would buy it. But, um, yeah, just use that, and just, you know, snipe them, and it's really fun, and it's it's short range or long range, you can determine how you want to do it, and give you some good experience. That's how I trained up, and got my archery skill in order, that's how I got my trigger finger. So, no, I got a trigger finger from Call of Duty, which was a lot of fun. Or not from Call of Duty, from Tap Tap Revenge. That's what originally actually made me want to play Call of Duty, was I had this really good trigger finger from Tap Tap Revenge. I can... seriously. 
you know, like that really fast. I don't know. And it doesn't sound that fast, but try doing that with your finger. Um, so I got a really good, and that's my left hand, by the way, not my right hand, so it's not too useful uh, in general game layouts. And sure, you can change, you know, the Xbox layout, and I don't, my Xbox broke. I don't even have an Xbox anymore. Well, I do, but it's broken, so I can't play it. But, um, at any rate, uh, that's, uh, I, I used to play Tap Tap Revenge. I don't know if any of you have played that. It's, it's a fun game. I stopped playing it because my wrist started hurting a lot from Carpal Tunnel Syndrome, but, um, it was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it, and I was on their the tap. I still am on the Tapulous Beta team and everything, but we haven't really been doing much. But at any rate, uh, it, it's an iPhone, iPad, and now Android game that uh, is like basically Guitar Hero kind of idea, except it doesn't really have a storyline at all. It's just songs, and you tap along to them and try to beat other players and send challenges. And there's online rooms, and there's a whole um, thing surrounding. Um, like, you know, there's challenges, and you can email challenges. It's, it's a cool game. But anyway, I used to play that obsessively, and I used to be, like, one of the... There was a competition of the best, um, like, thousand, I think it was, Tap Tap Revenge players. Like, the, the ones who had who had played the most, or whatever, and I was in that. And I scored, like, th somewhere around 50th. So, I mean, I was, wasn't, was like, amazing, like, you know, world champion or anything at it. But I was, I was pretty good. I, was, I, w I could complete most extreme songs with no or one, one or no notes missed. And so I was really enjoying it, and I was having a lot of fun with that game. And then my wrist started hurting, and I was kind of like, all right, better stop this. But uh, from from that, I'm getting off track here. From that, I got a really good trigger finger, an apple. I found an apple. So I didn't pick it up, did I? No, I didn't. Screw the apple. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I got a good trigger finger from that, and I was just sitting in Langlet one day, and this, uh, I was playing Tap Tap Revenge in Langlet, and um, we were on break. And... Uh, this uh, kid says, hey, you, you could play Call of Duty, you got a good trigger finger, and all of a sudden I was like, huh, that's a cool idea. And little did I know, that was on my left hand, so it didn't really affect it, and when I tried to redo the layout, I couldn't even manage the controls for a lefty. But at any rate, I ended up um, getting into the Call of Duty franchise because of that, kind of unexpectedly. That prompted my uh, wish for a um, an Xbox for Christmas, and that kind of prompted the whole... Uh, First-person shooter gameplay of mine. I started becoming more of less of the. What am I doing? Less of the kind of casual gamer and more of not really like intense gamer at all, but not just playing RuneScape. Basically, <laughs> started kind of branching out, playing things like Minecraft, and that wasn't caused by Call of Duty, but it kind of opened up, opened me up to the fact that there's more games than RuneScape out there, and I was kind of like, oh my god, there is, there are, whoa, you know, so um. That was kind of really my start, though, Tap Tap Revenge on my iPhone. That really kind of rolled me into modern, into what I am today as far as playing video games. And it doesn't really seem like, you know, a uh, knockoff of Guitar Hero on the iPhone, which is a really good game. I mean, I'm not dissing on it or anything. I really enjoy Tap Tap Revenge. still play it from time to time. I've kind of lost my edge, but I'm still fairly good at it. But yeah, um, it, it's a fun game, for sure. Uh, if you ever have some free time, just download it. It's, it's a free game. Uh, they have some paid versions that are like, you know, Lady Gaga Tap Tap Revenge or Linkin Park Tap Tap Revenge or whatever, but the actual Tap Tap Revenge game is free and has tons of free songs in it, plus some paid songs that you can buy, you know, premium songs, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun game. I, I enjoy it. I, I used to do Let's... <laughs> Actually, that was the intro, that was my first intro to Let's Plays, too. I have another YouTube channel, which I won't reveal right now, and although if you follow very closely to um, Omicron Crew's comment patterns... I think I once commented do an Omicron Crew video with that account, so some people might know it. I don't know, but anyway, I used to do Trap Tap Revenge Let's Plays actually on that on um, that channel. I used to just and I wouldn't do any commentary or anything. I'd just let the music play. I'd sit there, I'd film it, I'd have this kind of awkward position holding my digital camera between my chin and my collarbone. Ooh, look at Jungle Biome! I get distracted so easily. I'm sorry. Um, and I'd just record Tap Tap Revenge Let's Plays and I'd you know put them up and. They weren't, like, real popular or anything, but I got a fair amount of views on them, you know, like, some of them got a couple hundred views, and, you know, I, I, I had some other videos on that account. I, I'm still not active on that account, but every once in a while I upload, like, a tutorial video for computers, and, um, I've, I've gotten, uh, like, on a recent one I did port forwarding, how to do port forwarding on a Quest Q1000 modem, uh, and I got, like, I think 600, 700 or so views on that, so, you know. And it's been a couple months, sure, but that, that channel isn't dead or anything. I just don't really put much on it anymore. I used to do programming tutorials on there, and 
that didn't really get old so much as I just moved on to Let's Playing, but I might, I might go back to that someday in my free time, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. It's finally night time. For a second I was thinking, oh crap, night, and then I'm like, wait, I want it to be night. Because I get to kill creepers. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to get down to the swamp. I think it's easier to do combat in a swamp than a jungle. Jungles are just too compact and too rolled up and too uh, obstacle-laden to be any good for anything. Uh, yeah, you get you tell him, Wolfie. God, I'm calling him Wolfie. <laughs> uh, if you start calling your pet in Minecraft Wolfie, you're going to have a bad time. If anyone follows kind of the memes of the day, there's that guy from South Park. Never mind. Anyway, I had something important I was going to talk about, and I forgot, so it must not have been that important. But, ah, well, whatever. It'll come to me. But yes, so th thank you for, um, uh, oh, what am I thanking you for? Well, thank you for watching as always, but that, uh, for some reason I thought I was thanking you for something specific. God, I'm losing my memory and I'm only 15. 16, I just, my birthday was, yeah, 16. Ah, uh, what was it? Oh well, whatever it was, wasn't apparently all that important. But anyway, where was that chicken? I, I don't think I can just lose chicken like that. Oh, that's weird. It's not there. I'm just gonna eat some raw beef, why not? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not gonna stay in the swamp island. What am I doing over here? What am I doing in the tree? Ah! Ow. There's an ant crawling on my leg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Make up excuses, Maxwell. That's totally fine. Oh! Something I would. Oh! I remember what I was gonna say, and this isn't all that important, but this was something else. I was also gonna say this. This wasn't the important thing I was trying to remember, though. Um. Oh, there's a creeper. Yeah. Let's go kill him. Yeah. Good thing I don't have an ocelot with me. Be creeper hunting would be hell. You running from me. Ah, don't kill me! It's just a cow. Ow! Ow! I'm in a tree. Ow. Never mind. Not in the tree. Not in the tree anymore. Ah! Surrounded. Surrounded by death. Surrounded by cruel. And oh, crap. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention to my sword. Got rid of the creeper. Solve the zombie problem we have here. Yeah, what? 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 Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, um, do I have any, yes, I do have enough ingots for a sword that is ideal, that is perfect, that is amazing. Alright, Wolfie, we'll keep guard. On guard, on guard. Alright, um, don't need those seeds. Oh, but I do need, oh, nah. there we go. <laughs> that was more effort there. Alright, so before I lose track of my thought, my chain of thought again, I bought the indie, uh, the, the indie, the humble indie bundle, the game bundle, I, I paid $10 for it, which was just above the average, so it got me the extra four games, I forgot which which games were the extras, and I haven't been too impressed with some of the games, they, they're just not my style, they're not bad games at all, don't get me wrong, um, some people love them, they're just not my style of games, and uh, I did really enjoy my um, limited experience with Limbo, that seemed like a really cool game, but in general I don't think Limbo is um, going to make too good of a let's play, but I'd be willing to try it if someone wanted me to. Ow. Dang it. So close. Creeper over there, let's go kill it. And kill a sheep with TNT. Um, die. Da 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 There we go. Oh. Ah. Don't blow up in front of my wolf. No. Take me instead. Oh. I found it. Oh, the bag. Oh, it killed my dog. Oh, Wolfie. Alright, well, I guess uh, we're all alone with no help, with no companionship. That's okay. We'll make it. We'll get another wolf. But anyway, what I was going to say, before I lose my chain of thought yet again, Limbo uh, was a cool game, but some of the other ones, like uh, Psychonauts, I just couldn't really get into couldn't really get into the gameplay very much, and I don't know, maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. I'll, I'll try it again later when I'm not so rushed, but uh, at any rate, uh, I also got as part of that bundle Amnesia, and I know uh, Amnesia's kind of thought of as kind of a creepy game and whatnot, and I thought it'd be fun to do a let's play, do a face cam, and you guys would get to know what I look like if for some reason you were interested in that. Hopefully not, I don't think you would, but anyway, it uh, it's kind of nice when you, you put a face to a YouTuber, I don't know, I kind of enjoy that, but anyway... I'll, I'll probably play along with the whole face cam thing. Um, you guys are going to have to bear with me. I don't have... I'm cheap. 
<laughs> As I explained in the last completionist video, I am a cheap person. So I don't actually have, and we do have enough TNT for, or we do have enough gunpowder for a thing of TNT. Oh, did you see that? Wow, that skull and I had bad aim. Run! Wow, look at all those arrows it missed. Wow, I got lucky there. Um. So what was I going to say? Oh yeah, Amnesia, it's kind of one of those, you know, creepy, ooh, kind of games for a lot of people. So I think I'll, I'll hop on that with the face cam. I'm... Generally not too freaked out by those kind of games. I usually end up laughing. We'll see if this one's different. I don't know. But, like, I played through all of House 1 and House 2 laughing my ass off. Just just throwing that out there. It was I was like, oh, wow, you know. There was, like, one part where I jumped a little bit because something popped up on the screen. But as far as actual, like, creepiness, I, I usually just laugh it off. Um, so I'll see, how, I'll see how Amnesia goes. But uh, you will have to bear with me since I am cheap. I do not have my own webcam on this computer. I have one on a desktop and I'm sitting next to me, but that's at like a 90 degree angle to my face. And then I have another one uh, that I'm trying to get to get to kind of a safe area, but still have a mob to kill. Uh, I think I'm going to craft what's that crafting table over here. Um, so I think I'll do it with a face cam, probably from my MacBook Pro. Just kind of plop that there and have it at like a 45 degree angle. So it's not going to be a dead on straight of my face. Sorry. But um, I just don't really think I can I can do that because I don't have a webcam. And I'm, I'm not gonna just gonna buy a webcam for. What happened here? Oh, creeper explosion! I'm not gonna buy a webcam just for one episode. And I really don't do video chatting at all. When I need, if I really need to do video chatting, I'll just hop on a lot on my Mac. So on my Mac. So I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna buy a webcam or anything. But um, I I think I'll probably just film for my MacBook. But yes, uh, be watching for that in the next coming uh, week or so. Uh, and Amnesia, not, you know, a full series playthrough, but, like, a first episode of that. And that'll be fun. I don't know if Amnesia is the kind of game I'd really want to play yet. I'm not sure. I haven't really played it much at all. Uh, from my limited experience, it was not as much scary as just confusing as heck as to what I'm supposed to be doing, you know. So, um, hopefully I have good fortune and I, I can figure out where I'm supposed to be going better than with my limited, you know, five, ten minutes of trying it out, but it was fun, I enjoyed it, um, the graphics were good, I enjoyed the, uh, the whole, um, gameplay experience as a whole, I thought it was pretty good, I need some sand, alright, let me grab that, so yeah, I'll be doing an Amnesia playthrough in the coming days, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you want to see that, uh, hopefully with a webcam, unless it's really crappy, but I should be able to just interlace a webcam over it, shouldn't be a big problem, so, we'll see about that, we'll see how that goes. And, uh, I'll be, like, using MacBook or whatever. And it is almost 30 minutes, and we almost have a block of TNT. Oh! Oh! Well, isn't that ironic? Um. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, hey, Creeper. Or zombie. That zombie's really walking weird. I have an idea, zombie. I think you'll like it. Ow, no, get back in there. Get back. Get back in the hole. Back in the... Ah. Alright, what now? What now? What now? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Alright. Eat, 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 eat. Oh, that was, that was close. Um. Alright. Uh, let, let's choose this sheep. I'm going to build around it with cobblestone. Don't need those daisies. I'm going to build around it with cobblestone. Hi, sheep. Don't try to jump out of here, sheep. That'd be a bad sheep. Bad, bad sheep, bad sheep. Alright, so... <laughs> uh, I'm weird. Alright. Uh, Alright, so I'm just going to dig under here. Actually, I'll... Yeah, I'll just dig under here like this. And I'm going to place block of TNT right there. I'm going to build up to here. I'm going to crafting table. I've made way too many crafting tables. I should be just carrying one around, but I'm too yeah, too unfocused to do that. Alright, like that. And I probably already had six in my inventory. Oh, and I just made four buttons. Good job. Alright. Sheep's in there. Nice and secure. Put on top to this thing. Oh, dang it. Let's see if we can't blow the top off here. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. How would that even... Ah, never mind. Alright, gonna place the button. Gonna take my crafting table and put it in my inventory. Are you ready for the Big Bang? 
right before I watch Big Bang Theory on TV. Um, James introduced me to that show, actually. It's a good show. I, I'm enjoying it. But anyway, here we go. Run! And get a good viewing angle. Boom! And we have a block of wool down there. How do you like that? All right. Dun, da, 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 da. Challenge number one completed. Thank you for joining us, and next time we will be going after another challenge. Until next time, and watch out for an amnesia playthrough. This was Vorkshulk, and thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.